Hey guys, Mayhem here. Today I'm going to show you all how to get your friends onto your RuneScape private server. This is actually a fairly simple process. A lot of people overcomplicate this. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. I don't want to waste too much time here. What you want to do is figure out what kind of router or modem you have. I have a UB router slash modem from Time Warner Cable. So what I would Google is the default IP address for a UB modem or router. And you just want to put in your router's name there in the place of the UB router. And in my case, the default IP is 198.162.0.1. And you just want to hit enter, type that in on Google. Give it just a second to load up here. It's usually pretty slow for me. Okay, I finally got mine to come up. If you have one of these weird router slash modem things from Time Warner Cable, I would recommend typing this in because that's what I had to type in to get it to come up. Uh, these are kind of a pain in the neck. I don't really like it, but it's what we have to do for our internet plan. Um, it's probably also going to ask you for a username and a password, and all you want to do is just Google what that is. What, it, what that is set to for default um, for your router or modem. Same thing you did with the IP, basically, but for the username and password. Uh, for example, the UB one was the username was user and the password was user as well. Uh, the next thing we're looking for here is port forwarding. And I know mine is located under gateway. And it should be forwarding right here. Okay, so on this page, what we're doing is forwarding the port so that our friends have access to it. What we want to do is go down here to our start orb and type in CMD, right click it, and hit run as administrator. What we want to type in now is IP config. And what we're looking for is our IPv4 address. And we want to look at the last digit on that. Mine happens to be three. And I would put three right here. And for the start port and end port, or the port that it asks you for, this is a little bit more detailed than most routers and modems. Um, you just want to put in 43594 for uh, anything that says anything to do with the port here. Uh, protocol, we want to leave it on both and we want to make sure we enable it. And then we just click apply. And then we're done with the hardest part, essentially. Um, what we want to do now is go into Eclipse. Uh, what I would do before, actually, before we go into Eclipse is go into your, um, your server's folder make a copy of your client and put it on your desktop and that'll take just a second I'll explain that later when we uh, change a few things here in a second another thing we need to do while we're waiting is find out our IP address uh, make sure you're only giving this to your close friends because they will have access to files and your IP address so don't give this to anyone that you don't know personally and don't trust with your IP address. This is taking a little bit longer than I anticipated. Uh, anyway, we can go into Eclipse now, and what we want to do is click New and Java Project. Name it, whatever. It doesn't matter. We're going to be deleting this anyway. And uncheck Default Location. Go down to your client. Open up your client. Finish. We want to go into that, go into the SRC folder, scroll all the way down. We're looking for the loader, yeah, loader.java file. And we want to open that up. And right here at the top where you see public static string IP, you want to put your IP address in the quotations. Erase the 127.0.0.1, put your IP in there. And then you want to click X and save that. And that's all we have to do here in Eclipse. So you can then hit delete and OK. And now what you want to do is wherever that was, wherever that client that you just made the changes to was located, you want to distribute that client folder to your friends and make sure they have Java installed. And then all they have to do is double click the run.bat folder. Let me just check something here. Um, another issue that your friends might have when they're trying to run the client is dependent upon where their Java folder is located. And mine happens to be in uh, my on my C drive under program files, Java, JRE7, etc. If their Java is located in a different place, they need to change this to where their Java is located. Um, then it would definitely run. And make sure that your server is up before your friends try to access it, just like the server is always supposed to be up before you try and get on. 
it obviously has to be up for them to get on. And that should be pretty much it. When you're playing, you have to play with the with the client that has the 127.0.0.1. That's why we made a copy of it. So you would use this client here. Don't use the one that you distributed to your friends because it won't work for you. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, if you're uploading it to a website or something, most like Mediafire, they won't allow like a folder. So what you'll have to do is archive it with WinRAR, which is simple. Just install WinRAR and hit add to archive. And then you just distribute that to your friends. Fairly simple. Um, if you want to do it on Skype and stuff like that, you're going to have to do add to archive. So just go ahead, download WinRAR. You guys, if you don't know how to get it, then look it up because I don't feel like adding that to this video as long enough as it is. So just click add to archive and then uh, click OK and it'll make it into a WinRAR file. Give it to your friends. They'll have to extract it from the WinRAR file. And then they just run it, run the client and log in. They're good to go. All you have to give your friends is the client that you made the change with your IP address in. And that's pretty much it. So play from the client you didn't make changes to. Oops. And then make sure that your friends are playing from the one that you made changes to. That's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you and your friends have fun playing on your server. Uh, I don't know what next video you guys want me to do, so just leave some suggestions in the comments. And if you have any questions, again, just ask in the comments. I try and answer all of them that I can. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like the video, subscribe for more of this stuff, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.